Uh, welcome to my training video titled Correction Officers, Is Being Selfish a Good Thing? I'm Carl Torsbens, former Deputy Warden and author. Thank you for watching our video. As public servants, we are taught to be unselfish and devoted to public needs and demands while giving up some of our own, and do so generously. I don't have a problem with being a good public servant, and my record will reflect. I cooperated generously and unselfishly towards the common good we often talk about in the criminal justice system. The fact remains, we are born being selfish, and you can't change that fact. It's a tricky situation. There need not be a conflict between society's needs and your own. One can give generously and still receive sufficient self-gratification to be satisfied with your desire socially and culturally. It does, after all is said, boost your morale and the morale of others around you. Being selfish creates a personal incentive to excel or do better in life if kept in perspective. The trick is to align or merge your selfishness with those demands of your organization, stockholder, and community. Law enforcement personnel aligned with their work, joint self-development, and performance are positive attributes for others to benefit from. Thus, it should never be taken away or criticized when it appears to be balanced in nature and actions. I think it's fair to say that it's the organization that benefits the most when an employee seeks to excel and shares or gives those benefits to the job and team. Together, they will work steadfast for mutual gains as well as a motivator for noble morale. Enhance the mission of the agency as both parties are satisfied with job and performance levels. Discourage chaos or disorder and impact his or her disciplinary record by being in harmony with agency expectations, mission statements. Encourage a closer look, for example, related to the background check, educational history, and prior work history credibility by the agency to see if a person can be considered for promotional opportunities after the probation periods are completed, of course. Become an asset to the organization and treat it as such to maintain value as a positive asset. Begin a self-development assessment for future opportunities and align with workplace opportunities. Remember, opportunities can be within or external. Keep them fresh and avoid a burnout status by staying healthy and alert mentally and physically. Ensuring agency cooperation in promoting self-interest and leadership opportunities and work as a team. It avoids visions of doom and allows you to see opportunity that may also impact team members as future supervisors. Become a remain an optimist, be realistic, and maintain a measured idealistic approach to the job. Willingness to participate in the more agency challenges or special projects. A loyal workforce and less vulnerable to be poached by other agencies and create permanent interest in agency and mission and impose an attitude of ownership. Remember, if you love yourself, you will love others. If you do things to make yourself better, you're making your environment better. As always, be safe.